a people united shall never be defeated. 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 A people united pesa zilizotumika na hali ya uwanja ambao huko ni tofauti kwamba tulipokuwa na waziri bwana Mbane alituambia ni 5 million na bunge la senate lilipokuja lilikiri the same same lakini hatuoni chochote na ajabu ya kwamba wao county government ya Mombasa wanawekeza kwa, wi, kwa viwanja gushi kwa mfano kiwanja cha Kongoea Wame, wamefanya renovation ya 30 million changamo wamewekeza 30 million na alikuwa ni 30 million. Sasa kwa nini sifada usiwekeze na hapa? Kwa sababu ili vijana wale nini migokaa na waburuze unga ndani ya Mombasa. Si vijana wainuke ki talanta za michezo. Hapana. Ili kumaliza vijana kwa sababu leo tunaona wanatia sawa ambao tuko na ofisi ndani ya Mombasa County wanaanzisha michezo ya ya mpira vumbi. Viwanja ambavyo havieleweki. Kwamba hadi leo tunaona mama haki kapo. Tunaona Professor Naman Kapu, tunaona Shipeta Kapu. For what? Na iko hapa Mombasa Municipal Stadium. Nikimalizia ndugu yangu ya kwamba kitu kinachonitia uchungu mimi ndani ya Mombasa County kwamba governor alituambia utawala uloisha tu uache huu uwanja utaendelea ku nini? Kujengwa. Lakini mpaka leo governor maswali haya anayakimbia. Sasa sisi tunashindwa governor huyo wa Mombasa pia haya amekula ipesa ama hii pesa imeenda wapi? Nipo tunataka kujua ni pesa imeenda wapi. Kwa majina ni Mathias Chipeta kutoka shirika la haki Afrika. Na tumekuja hapa kama stakeholders wa masuala ya sports. Tumekuja hapa kama watetezi wa haki za kibinadamu kwa sababu imegarimu sasa miaka karibu kumi na this stadium mwenye kandarasi alipewa ilikuwa 2019 stadium yote ilikuwa i cost 1.8 billion tunavozungumza 600 million tulimsikia former governor akisema 600 million ilitumika ambayo imefanya 35% na tumekuja tukakagua hiyo 35% we don't see it kama iko sufficient so sisi tumekuja kushinikiza serikali enough is enough wamalize hii stadium kandarasi walipewa pesa walipeleka kwa covid ama walipeleka wapi stadium ni muhimu katika Mombasa vijana wetu hawawezi kukuza talanta zao tunavozungumza kwa sababu ya hii stadium Harambe Stars inaenda kucheza nchi kama Malawi Harambe Stars timu yetu ingekuwa imecheza katika stadium kama hii ya, ya Mombasa kwale stadium tumeona imemaliziwa juzi juzi walipokuwa wanataka kufanya mashujadi When will this stadium itamalizika lini? Lini. We are Mombasa residents. Tumekuja kama wenye hii stadium. Yeah. Stakeholders wa hii stadium. Inatuhusu. 1.8 imemalizika, imepelekwa kwingine kwa COVID na mambo mengine, but tunataka hii stadium imaliziwe. Yes, Tunajua yeah. kuna njama ikiwa hii stadium yetu imeachwa hivi, watakuja wapeane ardhi hii kwa mambo ya housing. Yeah. Na hiyo mambo tutakataa. Kweli. Kwa hivyo hii ni uporaji na tunasema lazima stadium hii imalizie. Ishe, stadium ishe. Hisi swala hili pengine linachangia kuvunja vijana moyo hasa walio na talanta ya michezo. Ni kweli kabisa swala hii. Mimi kwa majina naitwa Kombe Kazungu. Kitu cha kwanza ambacho kinachangia kwa kuzorota kwa vijana kitu cha kwanza nafikiri hata nyinyi wenyewe mnaona vijana wengi ndani ya Mombasa wameshirikiana katika utovu wa nidhamu wa usalama hiyo yote ni sababu hawajakumbatiwa na kuenuliwa talanta zao viwanja vingi vimeuliwa na kufikia paka saa hizi tunakamilisha ile msemo unaosema an idle mind is a devil workshop ujue kufikia paka saa hizi wanasiasa wetu wanatuadaa na kutudanganya na vitu ambavyo havina msingi Ukiangalia Kenya nzima inatushangaa sisi watu wa vijana wa Mombasa mhususan Kisauni, Likoni na Majengo. Sisi huu uwanja ndio kwa tumeutegemea kwa kuenua vipaji vyetu. Sasa hizi vijana wetu wanapotea kwa madarati, mogoka unakuja kwa wingi wingi, ukiangalia vipaji havikumbatiwi, havienuliwi, havifanyii chochote. Hii tunasema ni aibu kubwa kwa viongozi wetu wa bunge wetu sijui ni kazi gani wameenda kufanya kule wameenda wameshabikia gachagua matigoa ha gachagua shatoka hili ni lenu lishulikieni
unahisi nini stahili kufanyika ili kuhakikisha kwamba maswala kama haya hasa kuboresha michezo inafanyika katika kaunti ya Mombasa? Ha, mimi naona kwa majina kamili naitwa Muhammad Emed na mimi kama kiongozi wa vijana na mpenda harakati. Mimi naona kitu serikali wanaweza kufanya ni kumaliza stadium ama waregeshe pesa. Hakuna mambo mengine. Ni accountability and transparency. Pesa zimetengwa, kazi ifanyike. La sivyo sisi vijana wa Mombasa tutaendelea kutoka kila siku ya Jumanne kuhakikisha jambo hili limefanyika. Almost everything, but uh, nataka kuwakumbusha kwamba Mombasa County ni city kama vile Nairobi. Na being a city kuna vitu ambazo Mombasa County lazima imiliki. One of the things ambazo Mombasa County inafaa imiliki ni stadium which is very important. Ya pili ni bus park. Hiyo tutakuja kwa hiyo badai. Lakini masuala ya stadium is very important. Na lazima tuelewe ya kwamba in stadium uh, si yetu sisi kama activists tuko hapa. Tunapigania masuala ya watoto wetu, watoto watakao kuja badai. Sisi tutaitwa kina nani ikiwa hatuwezi kusimama wakati haki inapo inapopotezwa. Tunasema hii stadium ili launchiwa 2016. Na ilipo ilinjiwa 2016 mipango ilikuwa 2022 ime imeisha lakini by now paka sasa hatujapata sababu mwafaka kwa nini stadium haijaisha na kama pesa zilipelekwa kwa covid 19 tunataka kuona hizo vitabu vya hesabu na tukimaliza kuona hizo vitabu vya hesabu la, lazima kuna plan b walikuwa nayo pesa itatoka wapi iweze kuja kujenga hii stadium so, so si yetu kama wana uh, ni activists ni tuna demand hii stadium iishe Tunataki kujua pesa itatoka wapi hii Kenya iko na pesa nyingi. Huyu Kenyatta alisema 2 billion inaibiwa kila siku. Sisi hatutaki kujua pesa zitatoka wapi tunataka kuona stadium ina. Kwale imeanza tujuzi na imetushinda na kwale is not a city. Na tukimaingana na stadium tutajua mambo ya bus park. Pesa ilienda wapi na hiyo bus park ilikuwa ifanywe wapi? Mombasa County haiwezi kukaa vile ilivyo. Yaani mambo yanaharibika zaidi. Wewe ukiangalia sasa hivi tunafaa kuwa si kaunti ambayo tunalia mambo ya kukosa maji, maji fresh ya kunywa. Sasa hivi tulikuwa tunafaa tuwe na desalination plant ambayo itasafisha maji. Imagine at this after 10 years of devolution, in fact 14 years of devolution. Paka sasa Mombasa County imekaa kama ambayo haina uongozi. Lazima tu demand ya kwamba tupate inaitwa nini tupate uongozi bora. Na kama uongozi si, si lazima inaitwa nini mnasema bora kiongozi hapana ni uongozi bora. Hatuwezi kuwa Hatuwezi kuwa county ambayo inadharauliwa. Angalia ukiangalia Mombasa county badala isonge mbele inarudi nyuma. Hatutabaki vile vile kila wakati mgao wa serikali ukikuja more than 50% imeenda kwa malipo. I mean kwa mishahara hiyo tunakataa tunataka kuangalia hao wafanyakazi wanafanya kazi gani haitakuwa Mombasa County ni county ambayo inadharauliwa eh, ukiangalia kwamba badala ya bahari tusaidie sasa bahari imehamishwa lazima tungeangalia bahari samawati ama blue economy itasaidia uchumi uchumi samawati itasaidia aje wakaaji wa Mombasa zamani zamani ungeangalia Mombasa County especially Moi Avenue ni ungepata kulikuwa na biashara lakini sasa ukiangalia biashara zinakufa. Lazima kama county waangalie plan B. Itakuwa kila siku sisi tuko hapa kulia kwa sababu ya mambo ambayo yangekuwa yashafanyika. Sasa hii county ya Mombasa ingekuwa sasa saa hizi tunaangalia vile tutaconnect wifi kwa ma nyumba za watu. Si kuangalia ati tuta si kuangalia ati kuna potholes. Potholes inakuwa ni issue tulikuwa tumemalizana nayo. Itakuwa Mombasa county hatuna miradi ambayo inasaidia mwananchi. Inakuwa kama ambayo sasa sisi tukikompare na other counties kama vile kwale, sisi tunabaki tuko mkia. Hatuwezi kuwa at 001. Mwimbaji alisema ni 008 na sisi tunakubaliana na hilo kwa sababu hakuna jambo la kuonyesha. Utaonyesha nini kama wewe ni Mombasa county ni a city na hatuna bus park, hatuna inaitwa nini atuna stadium na there's other things ambazo tunafaa kuwa nayo kama county lazima tuangalie uongozi bora si bora kiongozi si bora ati ni mtu wetu sijui nini nini hizo vitu zote lazima tuweke kando kama gen z ni mwa, mwa, wakati mwaka mwafaka mwanze kuta, eh, kutafuta kadi za kura 
kwa sababu 2027 haitakuwa siasa ya kawaida itakuwa siasa ya mabadiliko lazima tubadilishe hii kaunti tukitaka kuendelea kuendelea mbele hatuwezi tunapiga kura na kupiga picha kura eh hatuwezi kufanya mambo kama kawaida tuki expect mabadiliko lazima tubadilike hata sisi mawazo yetu vile tunavyofikiria na jambo la kwanza la kubadilika ni jinsi tunavyopiga kura Isiwa kwa sababu umepewa tano na unakula biryani sasa umejua sasa huyo anetosha. Kuna wakati ninauliza kazi ya mbunge ni gani? Kazi ya mbunge ni kwenda bungeni kwenda ku legislate. Na najua kuna wabunge hapa Mombasa County hata bungeni kutoka waji waji introduce majina hadi wale wajaiongea. Lakini lakini ukiuliza unaambiwa ah si anafanya miradi mtaani. Let me tell you, ukipewa bursary ni haki yako. Hiyo si pesa ya mtu. In fact kuanzia leo tumesema miradi yote inafanyika na pesa za mwananchi hakuna kuandika hapo honorable sijui nani nani hajafund huo mradi hiyo mradi hiyo mradi ni, ni pesa zako hiyo basari ni pesa yako so hiyo ni haki yako mambo ya kusifia mtu amekupea basari ni upuzi ni upuzi na lazima ikone hiyo basa county lazima tubadilike mawazo lazima tubadilike mawazo maana tukibadilika mawazo tutaweza hata kubadilisha kubadilisha mambo jinsi yalivyo inachosha inachosha ati kwamba tuna deal na potholes size ya this year 24 2024 14 years after sawa ngoja 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 ah people power power hii yasungumza leo tutakwenda pole pole let us off that so yeah mimi naitwa Lydia Diambo mimi ni mkujaji wa Mombasa venye huwa tunaitwa na mimi kama mkujaji wa Mombasa naishi Mombasa na nitazaa Mombasa na niko na mandugu Mombasa tumesimama hapa leo kama vijana wa Mombasa tunataka accountability ya hii stadium tunataka kujua pesa za stadium zilienda wapi watu watu wengi wanasema that pesa za stadium zilienda kwa covid 19 we all know that kulikuwa na funds zenye zilikuwa za covid 19 kuna pesa ziliingia kwa hii country wakati wa covid 19 that was to support hizo vitu shida zote zenye tulikuwa nazo so stop telling us that pesa zilienda kwa covid 19 mlikula pesa venye mmezoea kukula pesa zingine na sisi kama vijana today is tuesday tutakuwa hapa kila tuesday na mkichelewa sana tutaanza kuzunguka muache kutotishatisha ati tutakuja tusimame in one place we are asking you to act if you do not act as soon as possible we will get we will get tired of coming to the stadium and standing right here and just talking to people around here we want the residents of Mombasa wote wajue kuna kitu tuna demand na sio for us tuna demand for the youths in this nation vijana wenye wako kisauni vijana wenye wako mvita vijana wenye wako Mombasa wenye wanafaa kukuza vipaji vyao hapa hivi kwa stadium na wale viongozi ambao wanasema tukuje kwa maofisi zenu kukutana na nyinyi sisi yote ina kukutana na nyinyi at your offices zilisha if you want us tukutane kwa field mtuongeleshe tuko hapa hivi tumekuwa hapa hivi kuanzia 9 and no one is here no leader has nina amekuja hapa kutuongelesha stop calling our people and telling us to come direct to you to your offices nyinyi ndio servants wetu nyinyi ndio mnatufanyia kazi sio sisi tunawafanyia kazi so we are demanding accountability and last year i'm calling upon all youths in Mombasa county vijana wetu mko wapi this is the time that we should come together wewe kijana mwenye uko huko mtaani hakuna kazi unafanya kila tuesday tukutane hapa hivi stadium There is nini there is a lot of power in collective effort. Tukikuwa wengi there is a lot of power in it kujeni so that we can get accountability we can get what is rightfully ours. Atu demand kitenye sio yetu. Tunalipa tax day in day out and we are tired with the Mombasa that we have. We are tired with the leaders that we have and now venye tumechoka tumechoka vijana si tumechoka. So you guys need to act as soon as possible tunawakujia soon